All right, everybody, it's uh, Mark here. So I'm going over some data that I've collected. This is to show what things in my market look like hourly. I'm trying to find an overall general trend, although I, I really haven't found that in this first set of data because these are the lunch hours, and the lunch hour is being skewed by a trend with the businesses I deliver to. And I'm going to go over that in this data. I, I'd first, I'd like to do a quick little reminder that this is the, the data is based on my market. I'm trying to find some generalized trends, but keep in mind I'm limited because I only do certain types of orders. They're large orders that are more than a hundred dollars subtotal, so that does limit me on what I can, what I can on the amount of on the type of data I collect. I, I can't give precise answers on things. That I, that I don't collect that on. I just can't. It's just impossible. And unfortunately, I'm kind of restricted by the basic needs of life to make as much money as possible, so I can't really not do what I do to try to make a better YouTube video, to try to gather more data. I'm just living it because I'm one person. But this is what I have noticed that there is one thing I have noticed that's important in here. So we'll go over some of the charts first, and I'll get to that. So this is the first one, 11 to noon. This is the best time I find to find lunchtime orders and you'll notice that most of them are 675 or 775 that's the minimum amount in my market for for uh it's a 275 base pay plus four dollars and that seems to be coming up over and over again 275 plus four or 675 offer and I'm hitting that Remember, uh, green is miles. It's miles from restaurant to customer. Remember, I don't include any peak pay in this. So if I say six seventy-five, that means there could have been a two or three dollar peak pay. I've subtracted from it. Now, next up, we have eleven to noon. What it looks like when I throw in the tips. It's the same chart now, just with the tips to be able to show where where I got the tips at, and. Now, tips are random, and you can tell, like, there's no decisive pattern. Like, these other ones, very, very unique pattern to them. Um, very clear that, that they're rising over time. They gradually increase, and they spike near the end. Whereas here we have it, it's just some random, it could be anything. It could be low or high. It depends on what I manage to guess, what I guess right or guess wrong. So next up, noon to one, same thing. Pretty much mostly 675, some 7 and 775. Green is mile, red, red is uh, base pay, blue is offer minus base pay, which outside of the lowest offers isn't too important, but it does show a similar pattern to the other two. Again, we have the tips from noon to 1 p.m. And as you can, and now here what we do notice is that the tips went down compared from 11 to noon. Noon to 1 Noon to 1 p.m., I was averaging, uh, it looks like I was averaging around $15, $15 to $20, where 11 to 1 p.m., I was on fire. And I and you can tell, if you draw the line and just draw through, I was closer to the 20 25 average. So that's important for me to know that I'm hitting better in at 11 to noon than I am noon to 1. So, and it goes, and we're going to go through a couple more of these. So uh, next up, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., now, this one is the first one we notice is a little different. A lot more offers with more distance. I wasn't finding as many of the close-in offers, so I was driving out more. And tips again, a little bit higher as I was driving out, but still it's all over the place. There's some very low ones, some very high ones. Oops, ignore that. Let's go back to that. Where were we? Some very low ones, some very high ones, and it, it was just all over the place. And then finally, the 2 p.m., the 3 p.m., which are uh, very few in here. Uh, but we're back more towards the general pattern because I had less data. But it was still a lot more. I was going further out and looking further and further. It wasn't close in. And the tips were, there were some good ones, but mostly bad. And this time frame, it seemed that my earnings were the least. Whereas at 11 p.m., 11 p.m. to noon, I was hitting on it. And so the overall conclusion I've come from this is not the one I wanted. I wanted to show some this, a precise chart of, of uh, how much the offer had to be for the distance and really not close to doing that yet. But what I've had showed myself is something that 
it's probably pretty obvious that 11 to noon is the best time to be trying to find business orders and trying to hit up the businesses between 11 to noon. That's when they're most likely ordered for lunch. Now, I already instinctively knew that beforehand. It's kind of an obvious duh type of thing, but the statistics do kind of prove that out. That if at any time in the day you're going to try to focus on a business order, uh, getting some business doing a large order, it's probably going to happen between 11 o'clock and noon. And unfortunately, that, and this is why I've separated this into two charts, and I'm going to do a second chart for the dinner time hour, because the dinner time hour is going to have the information I'm actually looking for, which might be able to show me what offer amounts failed to produce and which offer amounts produced. And then based on mileage, I'll have some useful information that might show a general trend with DoorDash. I'm just not able to find it because the business orders are just skewing all the data. When when every six when almost every six seventy five order is coming in, it's kind of skewing the data and what I could do because it's basically I, I I'm just too focused on something that isn't helping me exp try to explain something because what I'm trying to find is if I do an order for say five miles, what's the absolute minimum offer that DoorDash has to give me until there's a hidden tip or if it's six miles or if it's three miles and that's what I'm trying to find a mileage like that and say this is the absolute minimum offer. Anything below it is junk. I'm not quite there yet, but I think when I go through the rest of the data, I might have some preliminary numbers on that. Anyways, thanks for watching if you watched the whole thing. I appreciate you and have a wonderful day.